All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are in Starfield today on the moon of Kurtz to unveil another one of my star fortresses. Today we have a thematic or a creative build that I did. This is called the Necron. As a big fan of the Warhammer universe, specifically 40k, I really want to try to like build 40k ships in this game, which <laughs> can be kind of hard because 40k ships are insane. So, but we did our best to capture the essence of a Necron battle cruiser. So, and this is it. Make sure, guys, that you always like, subscribe, comment, and share down below. It really, really helps the channel. And uh, we're having a lot of fun building stuff and sharing it with you guys. So, this is the Necron. It is a Class C ship. Uh, got some pretty respectable cargo. Um, not the biggest fan of the amount of Habs I was able to put into this build, but these thematic builds will kind of do that to you because you got to stick to the sort of source material to the best of your ability, and sometimes the uh, vanilla tool set just doesn't allow for it, which is, uh, the, for those who are wondering, these are all vanilla builds. I uh, don't use any building mods. This is uh, something that you can build yourself in the game uh, so long as you have access to the various parts. Uh, this build, I did use a little bit of the uh, clipping trickery, uh, nothing too spectacular, just to be able to add these pieces here along the side. And we'll see that when we go into the ship builder. But uh, let's head inside and take a look around. Um, I try to always go ladderless. And in this case, we have right, a ladderless build. Where are we headed next? So anyway, we will come up here, and uh, first door you'll see here will take us up to the recessed cockpit. Really nice little cockpit area there. Um, if we head to the port side, we will have ourselves an engineering bay that leads into a battle stations. Um, you could hypothetically swap this two by two out for uh, two two by ones if you really wanted to and uh, some of these cargo holds or companion ways that I have here are just really frivolous they're just there to, to help uh, map, map out the silhouette of the ship so you don't necessarily need those you could t put some structural pieces there but if we head back we will go to the starboard side of the ship and we will find ourselves in a rather comfortable living quarters that will take us up into another uh, two by two living quarters just uh, so the crew has somewhere to hang out. And uh, once again, you know, I have some companion ways that are just here because uh, I was trying different things and, you know, never hurts to have a little bit of uh, extra storage on the ship, I guess, is how I kind of look at it. And the doors in this particular case don't interfere with anything, so it's it's fine. But we'll head back up to the cockpit and we will take off so we can see the Necron in flight and uh, get out into space and get a look at it. And then we'll head over to the shipbuilder. Yeah, I really enjoy doing these thematic builds, but they can be kind of tough. Uh, just because, you know, you've got to work within the constraints of the tool set. But that's what I enjoy doing. I don't want to cheat. I want uh, everybody from PC to Xbox to be in. able to make these builds and enjoy them as much as I do. So we'll take off in the direction here, and we will get a nice panoramic of the Necron in flight. Very interesting looking ship. It was a lot of fun to build, trying to capture the silhouette uh, of these Necron battle cruisers. And despite uh, its sort of lack of habs, it certainly does not lack in firepower. Uh, this ship is a star fortress. It comes with uh, multiple turrets, and it can it can pretty much wreck shop if you if you actually want to take it into combat. It's not completely useless. It's just habs are sort of where the sacrifice is made in a uh, ship design like this you got to keep that sort of slender profile, which was fun trying to tweak different ways to do it, but I think I managed to do a decent job 
And of course, the Necron colors are always fun to play with from the 40K universe. Uh, I tried to make a silver color where the black is, uh, but it's really hard to capture silver uh, in this game. Um, so I did the best I could with the color palettes that we have available. So, but it was a lot of fun to build. So we'll be right back in the uh, shipbuilder menu, guys. Uh, this ship is relatively easy to make by any metric, so uh, it shouldn't take too long. So we'll see you in, in the shipbuilder in a few minutes. All right, guys, we are back in the shipbuilder menu, and we have the Necron pulled up here. And we will just pull it apart piece by piece so you can see what in what actually went into building this ship. So the first thing we have are several weapon systems. Uh, my favorite setup for turrets, obviously, is the PBO 300 Alpha uh, Auto Turret right here. I have three of those because I have the maxed out generator. So three and three allows me to keep these maxed out during any combat situation. And the other turret, obviously, is the... Jisaku NDRF Rapid Railgun Turret uh, along these three cowlings. And then here I have uh, some uh, Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors. I only have three of them because I can't keep them maxed out no matter how much generator you have. But it's nice to have those to fire on people. A viewer pointed out that I could have a third uh, weapon system just for the times that I want to pull the trigger. And he was right. It's kind of fun. So I want to thank him for that. He, he turned me on to adding that third, that third but not as powerful uh, weapon system. So it's kind of fun to have those on a Star Fortress. Um, and we do have a lot of these cowlings here, the Nova cowling 2L TFs. There's one, two, three, four, five, a six, and a seven of those. And that is pretty much, that is pretty much the overhead cowling that we have. Uh, I do think, I believe I have another one here. Yeah, we have another one there attached. Um, and then we have some more Nova Cowling here, the 2L PF. We have one, two, three, four, and then five, six, with those being in the alternate shapes. And then I do have these two here. So seven, eight there, uh, just because that is one of the things I do to sort of clip into the cockpit but as you can see the clipping is 100 um, percent you know it, it, optional you don't have to do it you could leave it just like that uh, with no clipping and it would be a complete vanilla build with no uh, unusual <laughs> uh, tricks being done so bear that in mind i just do it because it kind of looks cool and you can do it if you really want to so we'll go on and continue with the decorative pieces. We've got some Demos bumpers here uh, just to sort of round out the profile. Uh, we do have the Nova weapon mount and the Hopetech uh, pipes mid here on the top, along with some Demos wings along the side. And then quite a bit of this stuff stacked up here to uh, just sort of give us that Necron profile, mostly Demo holes and uh, a Demos cowling here on the top, and a Demos belly, along with uh, a bunch of these Hope Tech bumpers that go where you just have to kind of stick stuff because there's no nothing to put there, and a few more of these Demos cowlings as well. And I do believe, uh, outside of maybe a few windows, this is the uh, basic layout. Um, and, of course, I do have some uh, tile-breaking engines under here. And I do, I think that's all of the, oh, some more of the bumpers from uh, Hope Tech. I try to get rid of all the decorative stuff so you guys can see uh, the basic layout uh, of the ship from the ground up and how you would lay out your halves. So this is how I did that. Here's our cargo. We have four of these 40T uh, hauler cargo holds from Sextan along the top. And then we have two of these T10 hauler cargo holds attached in the back here. And then I believe that's it for the cargo. Yep, that is all of the cargo right there. And so uh, now we have the engines. Of course, we have it's a Class C, so we can't have a Class C Star Fortress without using the SAL 20 or 30. 
6830 engines, of which there are six. And as I was deleting those, I realized this is the other cargoes that I had, just to try to get as squeeze as much cargo onto this big ship as I could. The 200 cm ballast cargoes along the sides there. Uh, and uh, of course, our Vanguard shield never stopped using that. And uh, down here, we have the gear. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of the pinpoint 4G landing gears, just because they have a nice profile when you take off. And then I have four of these uh, NG20 landing gears, my favorite landing gears, because they make landing gear li uh, your life a lot easier with landing gear. And then a 100 DP slim docker bottom that comes out in this companion way. And, and even more cargo that I had completely forgotten about. The DA Gamma 1020 cargo holds here. Just so I, like I said, I try to squeeze as much cargo onto these big ships as I can down to the last mass. But uh, here we have, of course, our reactor. It's the Pinch 8Z reactor next to a NG340 grav drive, which is next to a 900T helium-3 tanks just to uh, kind of keep that uh, general profile like that. And then our 120 LD landing bay connects to a Hope Tech companionway, which connects to the Cabot Bridge with two Hope Tech cross hab braces that go into our hab layout here. So uh, that's pretty much the ship. It's really simple. Uh, just got to make a few trips to different shipyards if you don't have access to all the ship parts at your home base. Um, but it was a fun ship to build, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed building it. So uh, thanks for coming along and checking out my latest ship build here on the Gamers Grim. Uh, so you guys have a great day.